Okay, friends and others, we're back in the infernal world of the AD 75019, and we have uh, some success to report. Here is the current version of the uh, testing matrix. As you can see, here we have the all the connections, and here we have various uh, connections also with the inputs and the outputs, the Y pins. And now these are in the actual guitar configuration now. Over here we have our setup. So we're using the uh, smart scope as a signal generator and as a display of the signals. We're driving the pins with the smart scope. They're connected as explained. And the Arduino Mega is uh, running a, a small routine just to, just to send SPI to the chip. And here we have the display. So the output, uh, the output display, the blue line, is given by uh, the output plugs, which would go eventually to the uh, the amplifier, the output of the whole circuit. So, for example, if I if I connect the outputs, the positive and the negative outputs to the uh, input ground, we see that the blue line becomes a very solid ground. And if I connect directly the output plus to the input plus, we now see a very nice copy of the input sine wave. But let's say we do something a little better. So we, what happens, we connect the input sine wave, now we'll see it over here. We connect the input sine wave, which is on A plus, we connect it to B plus. We connect B plus to B minus. We connect B minus to C plus, and then C plus all the way over here to O plus. What do you think we get? Hey, you're right. We get the sine wave again. And if I disconnect one of those in the link, one of those points in that sequence, it's gone. But there is seepage. You can see how there's a lot of seepage running through there. And that's not very nice. So ideally, we should ground the pins that are not used, I would think. But if we put it back, it works. That is pretty cool, and this is a pretty incredible result after all of these months of playing with this horrible circuit. Um, what was wrong? Well, I don't know. Actually, a lot of things were wrong. There were mistakes made, and uh, the the circuit will the uh, the chip will latch up if too many uh, switches are closed. However, if we only close a few switches, it does not latch up, and we can demonstrate that by closing just. Uh, just the ones we need over here. So we're going to close, we're going to connect, we're going to connect it like this, making diagonal connections all the way down. And we see that we did again get a nice uh, Output form, however, we do see that something weird happened this time. We get a little bit of amplification. How can that be, you may wonder? And I wonder too. There's amplification here because the signal should not be so big, but apparently it is. So we'll try see what happens if we reduce it on the uh, scope. Maybe it's, maybe it's just, uh, just my imagination. Yeah, it's just my imagination. It's all right. Anyhow, that's all. That's how this works, and it does work at last. Thank you very much.